Hello everyone. Today we're going to show you how to install Simcoe Editor 8 along with our Software Manager. The Software Manager is great for allowing you to have floating licenses on your network. So on the Simcoe website under Downloads, we're going to want to do Simcoe Software 8 because that has our Software Manager. So once you have it on your computer, we're going to right click and run as Administrator. This next process will be a basic Windows install. Go ahead and hit next. We're going to accept the terms, leave this box checked, and now we're going to come over here with our three choices and pick custom. Here you're going to see you can choose to install all of our software, but we don't need it all. What we really only need is the editor, if you're going to install it on the computer, or just the software manager if you're installing it on the server. For illustration, we're going to install both the editor and the software manager. But again, you can install the editor by itself on the computers that you are connecting. Okay. So now we have these two. We're going to fast forward through the install phase and we'll see you on the other side. All right, so now we'll hit finish and we're going to go mess with our key now. The key, you know, will come to you from Simcoe or Simcoe Americas or Reseller. We do need to activate it if there is a button down at the bottom that says activate license file. If you do not have this button, you can skip this step and go on with the next. But for now, we need to click this. It's going to reach out to the Simcoe server and activate the license key. We'll say yes. It's going to be successful and you'll see the computer name appears in the right box. Now we're going to go to the software manager. And again, the software manager, it's going to run as a service on the PC that you've installed it. So when we get it set up and running, all of the editors will point to this PC's IP address in order to grab a license. Now, first time up, this is going to take just a couple little bit seconds, but here we go. We're going to go choose our license file. This will be the same key that we just activated. Say so open. There we go. It's been installed. All right, nothing happens yet until we come up here and hit start. Now you'll see that the license server is running. Windows may ask you for permission to allow this through the firewall. Make sure you do that. Now, we're going to open up the editor like we were on one of the computers reaching onto the network. We're going to click con connect contact license server. This is going to automatically find it if it's connected to the network. You can also type in the IP address manually in this box if for whatever reason it's not seeming to find the license server. 99% of the time though, it will automatically find it. Hit OK. After a couple seconds, boom, she comes up and you'll see here in the bottom right corner, it's licensed and activated. If you run into issues, you know, don't be afraid to reach out to us. We will be glad to help you and get you up and running. And that's it. I hope you have a great day.